I feel like sometimes we are so caught up in the hype of YouTube that we miss the mark in terms of really doing what we think is right for ourselves. You know what I mean? Hi beauties and curls, it is Melissa Q. Thanks so much for coming back and taking a seat and out of all the YouTube universe, you decided to come and chit chat with your girl. If you are new, I just wanna welcome you and say what's up? So glad you found my channel and don't forget to hit the subscribe button on your way out and hit the notification bell. It's gonna let you know that I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Wicka, wicka, wicka. Today's video, we are going to try something that we did back in the day versus what we are doing now. Basically what I did was an eye look and on one eye, I did it like back in the day, how I used to apply it. And then the other one, I did it how most YouTubers here on YouTube has been taught like if you were a beginner and you really didn't know anything about makeup there's a trend of how most youtubers put on their eye makeup so I wanted to test that out versus the order in which I used to do it so let's get straight into this video no more talking Lego kind of scared to do one eye the way that I used to do it and then the other eye I'm gonna do it that way I do have somewhere to go but I think that I can correct it you know what I mean it shouldn't be that far off okay so the first thing I'm gonna do is use I'm gonna use a basic palette because I think I want to do just a basic eye today and I am going to use the same colors on both sides so I can use the same brush it's just gonna be a different technique on both sides so on this on the left eye I am going to do brow bone transition lid and on this eye I'm going to do transition lid brow bone so the first thing I'm going to do is go in with the shade um, the brow bone shade first of all let me set my eye okay so let me go in with a brow bone color okay so that side I did with the brow bone first so that was the first one. Okay, so the second thing I'm gonna do is go into the Lorac Pro in the shade Taupe. I'm gonna mix a little bit of Sable and take it into the uh, take it into the crease. I was trying to make sure this was the what I used to do back in the day. Okay, I used to take my brow bone and shade and use it first. Then I would go into my transition shade. Depending on your eye shape, it de really depends. You know, you don't have to do it like everybody else does it. I know when you're trying to learn one technique, it's good to stick to it, but sometimes you need to switch it up to see if something else is better. Okay, I want a little bit more warmth, so I am going to go into my, my NYX. Now I'm doing the same, I'm using the same technique. I mean, I'm using the same, I'm gonna be using the same colors on both sides, okay? So it's not like I'm doing something different. Let's use the same color on the lid. So I am going to use cream and champagne and I am going to just put that on my lid, just the inner part, because this is a basic eye. Go back and I'm just gonna blend the edges. I'm gonna go into a little bit of espresso and a little bit of black. I just want to deepen up the outer portion of this eye. And stamp it on just a little bit. And I'm just gonna go in a third of the way. And that's all we're gonna do to our eye. This is how low-key, how I used to do my basic eye back in the day. I'm gonna use a little bit of champagne and cream. Okay, go back and blend a little bit. That is the eye. Okay, so now we're gonna switch over and do this eye the way that I would normally do, well, what I would do it in terms of what you see most people on YouTube, which is going in with the transition shade first. I'm going in with taupe and sable, 
and then I'm going to go in with a bronzer shade from the NYX highlighter palette, highlight and contour palette. Now to be honest with you, I feel like starting off, this gives me a better idea of like eyeshadow placement. I can tell you that right off the bat. I'm kind of thinking that my transition shade is going to look a bit more precise and blended just because I did this. I feel like that this one is a little bit more warm and this one is a little bit more muddy looking, to be honest with you, back in the day. But I never would have known this unless I tried it. And I'm trying to give both of them an even amount of chance, okay? So the next thing I would do is go in with my lid shade. And so that is the cream and the champagne color. Okay, so this one, this eye is transition lid brow, like defining or outer corner. And this one, my left, your right, is I started brow bone, transition, lid, outer corner. Okay, so now we're gonna go into our brow bone color. This one is still seeming like, it seems like I'm still getting a better blend. I don't know if you see that. This is a harsher blend of the transition, to be honest with you. And this one looks a little bit more blended. It's more diffused and I can build up the color, but that's what I'm seeing as I'm taking these steps. So just to be fair and to Make sure that the color halfway looks together because I gotta go somewhere. I feel like you can see more of the colors in that's blended individually rather than these looking all. Not, not that it looks bad, it's just I feel like that this looks more uniformed. I don't know if that makes sense. Let's go with the outer corner. I mean, the, the define this outer corner. And I'm going to use espresso and black. A little bit of sable. I stop it on. I mean, it's a slight difference. I feel like that this one is just a little bit more well blended, to be honest with you. I mean, both of them look similar, but I can still tell the difference that this side, which is the side that most YouTubers use, is still somewhat better. And it was easier to like, if I was teaching a beginner, I would teach them this side. You know what I mean? So yeah. So this is the final look. What do you guys think? I think that this eye is still better. And let me tell you why. You know, it's great to find, it's great to try everything, different things, but I do feel like that I did an upgrade. Hope that is just a testimony to let you guys know that, you know what, try, try it other ways. You know, don't just try it the way that you've always done it. Try other ways that maybe other people have tried it and just see for yourself which one works. I was actually really hoping for the one back in the day but this just means that I have been improved the skill, you know, using the transition before. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, loveys.